talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts. I'm here to do another pick a card reading with you guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about love. Is this your true love? Do you not have a love? Who knows? We'll find out. So as usual, this is going to be pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you guys need to pause this video to uh, meditate on which pile you guys would like to choose, go for it. So without further ado, we know that I don't like to make these videos too long. I have a short uh, attention span myself. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with pile one. I'm going to put pile three here and pile two over here. Oh, brother. Right off the bat, is it safe for you to love? Look at this card says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Is it safe to love? Interesting that we have uh, the Hierophant come in. Uh, the bottom of this card actually says tradition, so uh, possibly maybe you're stuck in your old ways is what it seems like. Let's see. We have the Princess of Roses, the Adventurer. Yeah, so you're not wanting to, you, you, the way that you live your life is not traditional, let's say. Let's say you don't want to have that nine to five job or the cliche relationship, if you will. You're, you're wanting to do other things. You know, you're wanting to go out. You don't really want to, you know, spend money on, let's say, commercialized items. You'd rather spend time with somebody and, let's say, travel. We also have the two of roses. You're at a crossroads. And I think your crossroads is coming between maybe you're with somebody that's more on the traditional side. You're more of the uh, adventurous person. You like to do things differently or maybe your beliefs are a little bit different. Um, so I think that that's possibly where you're at in your relationship or moving forward to a future relationship. Um, it just seems like you two are stuck in different ways. If you are in a relationship, it seems like um, you do love this person, but I think maybe it's getting a little bit stale. Uh, you also have the card of playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, it's interesting to me with these cards uh, in particular on this one because... I think that you're just absolutely holding yourself back. I mean, for it to have, is it safe to love again and also playfulness, you're holding yourself back maybe from a previous relationship that was way different than this new one that um, you were getting into or trying out. And you're definitely at, you know, a crossroads. Do I go this way? Do I, you know, let go of my past, continue on with my future, be in the present type of thing, which this also came out. Um, similar in another reading that I did the other day. So I really think that you guys just group one, I think that you guys kind of need to just let it play out. Like stop maybe being so judgmental or stuck in your ways, or maybe the other person is stuck in their ways. Like try new things. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause you're really holding yourself back in this relationship, okay, or in love in general, if you're not in a relationship and you are single, you're really holding yourself back, you're not doing yourself any favors, and you're just too afraid to, you know, pursue that, all right, so group one, that's where it's at for you guys, yeah, I just really like this two of roses, that's interesting, and then the Princess of Roses. So it's definitely you. You're wanting to change something. But you're also stuck in your ways. It's almost like you don't know how to change. All right. Let's see. We have the King of Roses. We have Six of Roses. Victory. Seven of Shells. Illusion. Huh, interesting. Which, the Six of Roses was actually upside down. I don't know if you guys caught that. So, really, you're not going to have a victory there. Uh, you got the Motivator, the King of Roses, Victory. Looks like Illusion, the Seven of Shells. True Love, huh? This is the best ro romance of a lifetime. Interesting, because Victory is upside down. So, you have probably an illusion of true love. Let go of control issues. Interesting. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's where this is probably going to come in. The King of Roses, the motivator. You want to control the situation. You want to have this perfect true love. You are maybe looking on YouTube at other relationships, which are fake. Everything on YouTube seems to be just fake these days. Everybody edits like a mofo. I'm too lazy to edit. Um, 
you're wanting this true love, but it's like you have that person, okay? If you're in a relationship, it's like you have that person, but for whatever reason, you're just trying to control everything because you want it a certain way. Just let it play out, right? This is why your victory is upside down because you have too much control issues over the relationship. If you're single, well, you know why you're single. Because again, you're in this fantasy world that you want this perfect person. You want this perfect true love. And no relationship is perfect, right? You have to work at it. You absolutely have to work at it. Um, you know, you could be in love with somebody, but you know, if you don't take those steps to work through any issues that you guys may have, then it can crumble, right? We see it all the time. Relationships, you know, you think that they're perfect and this and that. And sometimes you need therapy um, or you need to have better communication, you know, in general. Not just like you're stuck in your ways. Like, no, it's got to be like this. I mean, something as simple as, you know, you, you're you thinking that you're doing all the dishes at the house. And the other, you know, person isn't doing anything. But you're not saying that maybe you know, they are working outside or whatever it may be. So it's, you know, it's got to be 50-50. And if you're trying to be in control, then it's not, it, you're not going to have that. I mean, you're just going to keep, you know, fighting and butting heads. All right, group two. So you got to really work on those control issues um, and get out of that fantasy of your relationship needs to look like somebody else's or that image that you have. You know, I like to bring it back sometimes to Disney movies and princesses and, you know, it's like got to be this fairy tale. Well, that's not real life. You know, there's bills, there's things that have to be done. So not everybody is fortunate enough to, you know, make millions of dollars and be rich and, you know, not have to worry financially or stress out. I don't know why I said that, but you know, that's what happens. So stop trying to control everything, group two, and let it unfold. Let it happen. All right. Group three, the high priestess. All right. Ten of wings, difficulty. That's upside down. I love that these have the butterflies. Two of wings, balance. Interesting. Uh, Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so group three. Uh, let's, I, it's interesting that the high priestess comes out with the intuition here and then the attraction and the passion. So, you're not a difficult person to get along with. That's probably why you attract basically everybody. Um, but you got to find that balance, see? I have the two wings. You got to find that balance, right? So while, you know, you have all these things going for you, maybe you have a big head and you just think that you are hot shit. Um, I think quite possibly you are lacking in another uh, department, if you will. I need to draw another card for this one because... I want to know about the balance and the difficulty upside down. The magician. Ooh, energy. Interesting. So this is like manifesting, group three. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to manifest um, that perfect person for you, that soulmate. That's exactly what you guys are trying to do. You want that balance with another person. I feel like you're single. I really do. I mean, if if you are in a relationship on this one, which I feel like this is more towards people who are single, but if you are in a relationship, you're trying to find that balance between you and your partner. You could be a very intuitive person, okay? You might read tarot cards yourself. You might, you know, deal in crystals, crystal magic, things like that. And your partner is maybe not interested in that. And the crystals and, you know, all of this type of stuff. You know, maybe they're interested in something else. But for you, look, five of roses, competition. So I think that, I think if you are in a relationship, okay, then you guys are in this competition of maybe, I don't know, from looks to your job to whatever it is. Like, it's always a competition, right? Right. Like, somebody's wanting to, you know, outdo the other one or whatever, okay? And it's interesting because I feel like it's more of 
maybe you are very intuitive, you feel energy, you know, around you, or maybe you're a medium or whatever the case may be. And it's like the other person is not on that same energy frequency as you. All right. And so it's taking a lot of the energy from you. It's really wearing you down. If you are single, you're trying to find the person that's going to match your energy, okay? This card right here, you're trying to find somebody that matches your energy, that, you know, um, raises your energy, if you will. This reading is very, um, it's very interesting to me. So somebody out there is really trying to focus on manifesting, all right? So I don't know if you just think about it, manifest it, if you write it down, um, if you like candles, you know, however you do it, it's like you're really trying to manifest this perfect person in your life, or maybe you're trying to manifest to make yourself perfect in your eyes on what you want. And that's where this competition comes. If you're single, you're literally competing with yourself. Um, and I think that you need to take it down a notch. Okay, I think that you're trying too hard and you're forgetting about what is important. You know, bring yourself back to the basics on this one is what I'm feeling about it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, group three, if you picked group three, wow, wow, wow. It's very interesting to me. I know that this one's a little bit longer than group two and group one that I read, but I wasn't expecting that on group three. Um, the other two are pretty straightforward, but this one's a little bit interesting. It's funny because difficulty is upside down. It was a little bit interesting on this one. So anyways, guys, um, with that being said, I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you so much. I apologize about my last video. It was blurry. Um, you know, shit happens. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out, helps the algorithm out too. If you guys like this video as well, comment down below. Let me know what group you picked. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what videos you would like to see in the future, let me know. As always, you can find me on the socials, talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts, and we could chat on there if you like. So you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.